Hi there, my name is Sia Sanguinifin, radio personality and missing magic ambassador for the month of September. But as after all, Arbor Month, and we are going to make our difference, a little tiny difference wherever we can, encouraging others to do the same. My name is Emma Knight, and I'm from the Johannesburg Junior Council, the chairperson of the Environment Committee. I think as the youth of Johannesburg, it's really important for us to actually know what's going on in our, in our community and even in the world. Uh, Lit is a problem worldwide, and it's really important for us as a youth to be a part of the change and try and make a small difference that we possibly can in our community. It's absolutely amazing to see the great support. We have the Johannesburg Junior Council here working with us. We're loading all of the trash as well onto the NP200. We're going to dispose it off eco-friendly, right, Ms. Earth? We are going to do that well. Um, and so it's absolutely amazing. So let us know what you're doing as well. Hashtag Nissan Magic and also include at Nissan ZA in the tweet. of projects like this is that you get to give back while you still get a lot out of it. Like today is an absolutely amazing day. We're here at the Children's Memorial Institute and planting a sustainable veggie garden. It's all in the spirit of our month. I think it's really, for lack of a better term, amazing. My name is Luke Lomprecht and I'm a director of the Fight with Insight Hillbrow Boxing Gym and uh, yeah, you're at the Children's Memorial Institute. The Children's Memorial Institute was built by the mothers of the slain uh, First World War, their sons and daughters who were slain in the First World War and it used to be the Joburg uh, Children's Hospital until the Joburg Gen was built and now it's a building that has about 35 different NGOs including our boxing gym. In order to box in our gym you have to attend life skills because we believe in building the person through the boxing not just uh, the boxing. So we had Nissan and uh, the Junior City Councils together with our gym members, our gym squad, the boxing squad to come and plant vegetables and learn how to make pallet boxes and how to water and care for the, the food. You get to learn from each other, especially for it being Heritage Day. I've learned so much from the Fight with Insight boys and girls and I feel like they've learned a lot from me. And as much as we've been able to give back to them, we take so much out of it, life lessons that we can carry with us forever. They're such great leaders and future leaders in this group of people and it's been so incredible to learn from them and have them learn from us as the youth of South Africa. So it's absolutely easy to just go to your closest nursery and just buy some of this. But let's actually go the extra mile because you can make this at home. But I have the empresario here because I'm also here to learn. Emma from the Johannesburg Junior Council. Now, I know you have quite an innovative way for us to all actually adapt this into our own homes and start being very eco-friendly and start making more sustainable food at home as well. So where do we start? What do we do? I see toilet rolls, I see plastic, I see scissors. So okay. that could either be a catastrophe or a very good thing. <laughs> okay, step one, uh, you're gonna cut edges along, you're gonna cut along here. Uh -huh. Cut, I don't know, I suppose about 12. And then you're just going to fold these in, like this. Awesome. And it's going to make a little base for your tiny little pot lock. So we have the base closed off on one side, and then what's next? Okay, we need potting soil. Okay. All right, there it is. All right. Fantastic. And we're going to, we have a few tomato seeds mixed into the sand over here. Okay. Yeah, so what goes first, sand or soil? We're going to um, put a little bit of soil in there first. Okay. You can do Our it. Our hole. Yeah. Okay. Mix some of the potting soil in with the seeds. You Mix some of the potting soil with the seeds. Okay, so putting a bit of that in there. That should be enough. And then okay. just mix it up with your fingers. So the silver lining is this can also be used as a team building exercise. 
That should be perfect. <laughs> okay. That's enough. And then just put some more potting soil on top. I feel like this is garnish, so you must just like sprinkle it on top. There we go. That's a nice good thing. There we go. So that's it. And then you pop it in one of these just to keep everything tidy. Okay. And then you're going to water it once, once a day, keep it in the sun. So you can also make it very, very easy and simple at home. DIY doesn't have to mean destroy it yourself as I learned today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emma. Thank you, Sia. Part of our Nissan Magic project, that is what we're running for 12 months, it's our Random Acts of Kindness. And um, for the month of September, which we are in now, we partnered with everything to do with, with arbor and growing stuff and greening stuff. But you know, trees are great, they give us oxygen, but to plant food, that gives us something to eat and it, it builds future generations. So it's, it's not only the Nissan people, we also partnered with the Johannesburg Junior Council. Um, children that goes to private schools are really you know, fortunate and exposed to most amazing things, but they also have to do community service. So we partnered with them so that they can have an opportunity to do their community service and to do good to other children. It was great to see them today. They were digging holes, they were making pallets, and they were planting seedlings side by side with children that are not as fortunate as them, but you couldn't see the difference because after all, they're just children. So I'm absolutely grateful and appreciative to every single person who came by here today.